This is a list of 10 of the most terrifying places. Have you ever visited them? I'd love to hear what your favorite scary place is in the comments. The Amityville Horror 1979 and the Amityville Horror 2005. When the Lutz family moved into this waterfront home at 112 Ocean Avenue in 1975, they had no idea what was in store. Dude, a guy kills his whole family? Doesn't that bother you? Sure, but houses don't have memories. The year before, Ronald DeFeo Jr. went room to room shooting and killing his parents, two younger sisters, and two younger brothers while they slept. During the four weeks the Lutz resided in the home, they claimed the walls oozed green slime. Their daughter befriended a demonic entity she called Jody that looked like a red-eyed pig. George woke up every morning at 3.15 a.m., the time the DeFeos were killed, and several other terrifying experiences. <laughs> The movies may have amped up the story for the big screen, but according to the Lutzes, they had one hell of a time in that house. The Ferry Plantation House in Virginia Beach, Virginia, is haunted by a plethora of spirits. With a history dating back to the 17th century, the house has served as a family home, a ferry terminal, and even a school. Several ghosts reportedly roam its halls. One of the most famous is the Lady in White, believed to be a grieving mother searching for her lost children. Visitors report seeing her apparition and feeling her presence. Other phenomena include the sounds of children laughing and playing, footsteps echoing through empty rooms, and objects moving inexplicably. These ghostly encounters have intrigued and bewildered visitors, making the Fairy Plantation House a fascinating destination for those seeking a glimpse into the world beyond. Big Bull Tunnel in Wise, Virginia, has been rumored to be cursed for over a century. The tunnel bores through the heart of a huge mountain. No one knows precisely when it was built, but its construction was legendary for horrible accidents and deaths. Three train officials inspected the tunnel in 1907. One fled the tunnel in terror. He claimed he heard devilish, inhuman sounds. The other two chided him and went to investigate. All three came to the area in question. They heard Remove this awful weight from my body. Followed by, they're drinking my blood. The three officials investigated the tunnel but found nothing and no one. The sounds continued. The rail company then investigated but the findings were never made public. Even today, locals continue to hear the cries and fury of those who died there. Hotel Chelsea, New York. The Hotel Chelsea was built between 1883 and 1885. Although it was the home of countless artists, authors, poets and musicians, it was probably best known as the place where Sex Pistols best had Sid Vicious stabbed his girlfriend Nancy to death. Vicious himself died of a heroin overdose before the case could be brought to trial. And poet Dylan Thomas was staying at the Chelsea when he fell into his fatal coma. He died later in hospital. But it's possible Sid Vicious and Dylan Thomas never left Hotel Chelsea after all. Their ghosts have been spotted wandering the halls at night. Other guests have reported all manners of paranormal phenomena, from cold air to phantom footsteps to lights that switch on and off at will. The Hotel Chelsea is currently closed to new residents while undergoing renovations. Hotel Del Coronado, USA Investigators have yet to solve the mystery behind the unusual activity reported at this hotel following an unexplained death of Kate Morgan, who was found dead just days after she had checked in. Guests who have stayed in her room have witnessed the flickering of lights, a television turning on by itself and even a woman standing by the window. This resort, built in 1888, has had a host of famous visitors, including former presidents. And guests continue to see ghosts throughout the hotel to this day. For ghost hunters, one of the most accessible haunted houses in the world is the Carl Beck House in Penetanguishene, Ontario in Canada. Because it's actually available to hire through Airbnb. 
The Victorian home was built in 1885 by a wealthy local lumber merchant called Carl Beck, where he lived with his wife and their nine children. Things didn't exactly go well for the family, though, and his wife passing away from a mysterious illness which left his eldest daughter Mary to take care of her siblings while he continued running his business. When he died, he left his entire fortune to his children, except for Mary, who was given just one dollar, and this led to her living a life of resentment full of hatred to the hand she had been dealt with. She died a bitter old lady, and it's believed that her ghost still haunts the home to take out her misery on anyone else deemed fortunate enough to own it. Numerous guests have reported experiencing supernatural events, such as objects seemingly moving on their own, strange noises, and chills in the air. Adams, Tennessee. The site where John Bell and his family were tormented by a ghost now known as the Bell Witch is open to brave visitors who wish to explore the spirit world. The legend varies, but most accounts claim that Kate Batts, a neighbor of the Bell family, believed she was cheated out of property in a land purchase. Kate continued to torture the entire Bell family physically abusing the youngest daughter, Betsy, and cursing John. Visitors claim that any object taken from the site is cursed, while many have reported encountering a violent force while on the property. Technology doesn't work there either, with cameras mysteriously malfunctioning when users try to capture an image. The Lizzie Borden House is one of the most famous haunted locations in the United States, following a series of tragic events in the late 19th century. Located in Fall River, Massachusetts, it was owned between 1874 and 1892 by Andrew Borden and his wife, where they lived with his daughter, Lizzie Borden. To outsiders, the family lived a happy life and had regular guests who visited to stay with them. But this facade all came crumbling down in August 1892, both adults were viciously murdered with an axe. Andrew had apparently been struck 10 or 11 times in the head while he was asleep with such ferocity that one of his eyeballs was split in half. Lizzie was arrested and tried for the murders, but was acquitted and spent the rest of her life living in another house in the same town. As for the other building where the atrocities took place, it's now a guest house where there are regular reports of paranormal activity, supposedly the actions of the trapped souls of the people who were killed there. Citizen Cemetery is located off Piedmont in Bristol, Virginia. Because the cemetery remains in such obscurity, any connection to the paranormal is unknown. Visitors, however, may get a surprise when they take pictures. For some reason, the area surrounding the cemetery is filled with faces. These photographs were taken several years ago and prove that even just a few photographs can capture a hundred faces in Citizen Cemetery. So, are these faces pareidolia, matrixing, or can you think of another reason for their appearance? Share your opinion in the comments. Built in 1881 for wealthy German immigrant Hans Teitermann, Franklin Castle was a cursed house from the beginning. His 15-year-old daughter, Emma, passed away there from diabetes not long after in 1891, and his mother followed shortly. Not only that, but three more of his children passed away over the following years. In response, Hans built up the home extensively to distract himself and his wife from their family's fate. His wife passed away of liver disease in 1895, and Hans sold the house. No family remained to inherit. The Romano family moved into the castle in 1968 and reported some ghostly encounters. They tried exorcism several times, but by 1974 had given up. They sold the castle, which was later owned by Julie Garland's late husband, Michael Davinko. He spent a fortune on his renovation and, in the 1990s, a skeleton was found in one of the castle's closets. Sounds like Franklin Castle had some skeletons in the closet, literally. This is just a reminder to subscribe to enjoy our growing collection of paranormal content. 
Don't forget to like your favorite episode and ring the bell to be notified of new content. As always, thanks for watching.